um, started to look at dynamic changes as well. Um, and in some cases, we saw that patients had multiple clones in the circulation that change with time, and in others, they were dominated by a resistant clone that persists. And so these were some of the things that I'd like to explore more, looking at larger cohorts to really understand, can we identify people that are developing resistance during the course of their treatment uh, for early intervention? We also looked at DNA methylation of cell-free DNA, and really interestingly, the neuroendocrine type of, of prostate cancer, um, you know, they ha I mentioned has common genomic alterations as prostate adenocarcinoma, but the DNA methylation profile is very different. Um, and many of the genes that are differentially methylated and dysregulated are genes involved with differentiation, plasticity. Um, and so the cell-free DNA methylation profiles, we also compared to the tumor biopsies, and they were quite robust and I think that um, the methylation pro profiles are going to be really an important layer to cell-free DNA, to ctDNA, to try to better identify this resistance subgroup. And so we developed, um, you know, because of our, this was really a um, ex uh, sort of an exploratory study initially, looking at highly selected patients, doing extensive, really in-depth analyses. We use this information to develop a more targeted panel of genes, uh, which is much more clinically applicable, especially when you want to go into situations where you might not have a lot of cell-free DNA and you needed to have you know, a really targeted question. So the next steps, I think, would really to be to apply this targeted panel now to clinical trial cohorts to see you know, how often does, do they arise after AR-directed therapies? Um, are they early? Are they selected for? Um, how do they um, correlate with all these new markers and targets that we're identifying for this subgroup? And I think all of this will hopefully, after validation, would lead to um, hopefully a biomarker that could help either diagnostically or to help us um, in our clinical trials um, to try to think about including them as diagnostic criteria or correlatives for our trials.